As you may have just heard, the chair of the Civil Aviation Authority, Nigel Gould, has stepped down. Transport Minister Phil Twyford says he told Mr Gould the CAA was going through some big changes and it would be best to have fresh leadership at this time. Well, Nigel Gould joins me on the line now. Good evening. Yeah, greetings. Why have you gone from the Civil Aviation Board? Oh, very simply because the minister requested that I go. Can you tell us a little bit about that conversation? What did he say to you? Exactly as I just indicated. He indicated that uh, he has a wish that um, I step aside, so I agreed with that and I stepped aside. What reasons did he give for wanting you to leave? He gave no reasons uh, in the conversation. So do you feel that you've been fairly treated? Um, that, that's a leading question. I, I'm obviously disappointed. You know, my term should have finished in June, and uh, as a request, I agreed to stay on and for another 12 months. Uh, there are a lot of things going on within the uh, world of segregation in New Zealand at the moment, and uh, would have been, uh, you know, uh, and I was prepared to make the time available and you know, contribute to that. A lot of things which uh, have potentially very wide impact, um, but you know, that's not to be the case. So you were prepared to stay on, but the minister didn't want you. No, no well, we, you know, I stayed on because I was invited to stay on for another short period of twelve months, uh, and as he's fully entitled to, uh, he has indicated, you know, that there's major changes coming up, and there certainly are, and uh, he felt, therefore, uh, you know, I, I assume it was uh, sensible to make it a change now, and uh, that's his prerogative, and um, and his wishes. Uh, has to be responded to in the way I have. So the statement that the Minister has put out says that um, he was looking for fresh leadership. Uh, what do you think he means by that? Uh, you'll have to ask him what he means by fresh. So was none of that explained to you? No, the, the terminology you used is quite correct. It was something along the lines of fresh leadership. When did you have this conversation? Yesterday. And how much of a surprise was it to you? Uh, well, given that you know, there's been some very inappropriate media focus on aspects within the authority, we're obviously very aware of uh, uh, the interest that's been placed upon us. And uh, so alert to situations perhaps such as this, um, but it came as a surprise, correct. So what do you mean inappropriate media focus on the CAA? Well, you've seen the big meet-up that News Hub in particular have been doing over the issues of sexual harassment and bullying within the authority, as we extensively provided to them in terms of background, which they didn't want to use. Uh, we have a very well-controlled program uh, in those areas within the authority. We're very proud of what's uh, been able to evolve over that period of at least the last 12 to 18 months. Uh, and uh, they chose, for whatever their motive, that's something about the News Hub, uh, to make uh, a real meal out of what's you know, very much a few crumbs. Mr Twyford was sufficiently concerned by information that was coming out from whistleblowers at CAA that he launched, uh, well, an investigation into the culture there. So what responsibility do you take for, for concerns around the culture there? Well, we're always prepared to support and participate in things such as that. And when he made that suggestion, we said, absolutely because in positions such as we have, you never know what you don't know. And if there is something which might be there that we have assumed uh, not to be there, then it's good to be able to get some independent verification of it. So the program which he had indicated he wished to do some two or three weeks ago uh, through the Ministry of Transport, uh, we were fully engaged with and fully supportive of and uh, quite willing to see what might come out of it. You questioned the motivations of people, whistleblowers, who came forward to raise concerns about bullying, alleged sexual harassment at CAA. Is, uh, not, is that not why correct. you're going? Absolutely. No, no, absolutely not correct. What we were questioning them was the motives as to why they would not use the existing channels, which were very clearly defined within all our staff policy documents, uh, and not follow those procedures, right through to the opportunity to talk to me or the Secretary of Transport in full confidence, without any issues. I questioned with News Hub in particular, and this guy, I got full copies of the transcript available to me, I questioned off them why these people would choose to go down that channel when there's very clearly prescribed opportunities they have to talk uh, in full confidence uh, within the authority. Is making those 
comments publicly, do you think, part of the reason that Phil Twyford has asked you to step down? I can't make any comment about what his motive uh, was. So have you have you left the building as such? Is that it? Or <laughs> uh, if you're asking, am I in Wellington at the CAA office? I'm certainly not there now, no. OK, so was it your involvement terminated immediately in essence? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Was... Can you repeat that? Was your involvement with the CAA terminated in essence immediately following this conversation with Phil Twyford? No, no, we have to go through a transition. Um, you know, there's some delegated authorities and responsibilities, et cetera, that need to be passed on. And, uh, you know, I've talked to them about that, how that will be uh, undertaken in a very orderly and certainly, you know, from my point of view, a very cooperative stance. My responsibilities and interests are ensuring that the authority is not adversely impacted, okay. potentially or otherwise, by my change. We are almost out of time. Has anything you have done... Is anything you've done, uh, part, are you partly responsible for the Minister asking you to step down? Your behaviour, anything you've done? I, I've got no knowledge of any reason why there should be anything else, no. All right, appreciate you joining us this evening. That is Nigel Gould, who is the outgoing chair of the Civil Aviation Authority. As you heard there, the Minister asked him to go, in essence. That